kingdom's not so great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, speaking uh, from riches to some people believe that life is pretty simple. All you need is somewhere to live, something to do, and someone to love. But actually achieving that is harder for some than others. Yeah, at 21, Chris Whitmore, who has Down syndrome, couldn't find a job. So he created one, making and selling dog biscuits. Now that in itself might sound ordinary, but it's been the genesis of an extraordinary turn of events. Here's Matt Chisholm with Chris's uplifting story. He's here, everybody! <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to my kind of meme thing. <laughs> if you don't know Chris Whitmore, you need to. This time I'm going to play Daniel Dunham and Mary Duff for you. The guy's simply brilliant. You want to be a... An employer. I do indeed. <laughs> You're a smarter man than me. I know. <laughs> the new Plymouth 23-year-old couldn't find a job. It's difficult in these economic times for anyone to uh, find employment. So he created one. I started making the dog biscuits so I, can, so I won't be nervous around them because I am a little bit, but I want to get over my phobia of being a friend of dogs. So. And is it working? It is. It really is, Hampton. Good boy, Austin. Hello, darling. Hello. <laughs> God, you're cute. Come on. It ain't nobody got a Friday. Oh, oh. And do you think you've got enough money set aside for the Seven Sharp ad that I'm doing on you to help your business? I'm, I'm pretty sure that I do. <laughs> I reckon you might be right there looking at the bottom line. <laughs> Chris has been making his canine crunchies for a couple of years. Let's got homemade flour, there's peanut butter with no added salt or sugar or preservatives, and well done. The initial setup costs were only around fifty dollars. Has he paid you back? Yes, he has. He recouped that within his first month of trading. I'm selling them down at the White Pier Cafe in Parkland, Barbalock, and also at Hammer Hardware in Inglewood. The box was empty today, so we've had a fill up today. Wonderful. From what we could see, the poochers love them. What's the secret? I have no idea. <laughs> Lots of love. <laughs> yeah, he's one of my best customers. <laughs> <laughs> he's done a fantastic job. Do you think we could all learn a thing or two from him? We could all learn a lot from him. <laughs> Not just a thing Even or two. I could, <laughs> at my age. <laughs> OK, now it's back to Daniel O'Donnell. Unsurprisingly, Chris's dog bickies have opened doors in completely different areas. His life's just expanded, and he often says to me, I love my life, Mum, and that is just wonderful. That's where we want to be with him. He's now doing a weekly radio show. Some public speaking, he's even nabbed a part-time job at a local CAF. You're welcome. I love working down here. They give me a free lunch. I've seen how much you can eat for lunch. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one who thinks Chris is special. In March, he was one of three recipients of the New Zealand Down Syndrome National Achievement Awards in Wellington. Is Mum proud? Yeah. <laughs> We are proud of him, yes. And Mum probably deserves a pat on the back too. I thank God I see my mother. I really do. What about Dad? He's awkward, <laughs> but he's really good. <laughs> While Mum and Dad are helping, there's no doubt Chris is steering his own ship. You're becoming a real star. I am. I've been really proud of myself for doing all this stuff. You're kicking goals all over the show, Chris. All you need now is a girlfriend. I am looking. I am indeed. <laughs> With an attitude like Chris's, I'm sure he'll find her. But first things first, here's that ad I promised. Go for it. If you have got a dog, I would like to try some freshly baked dog biscuits and Chris's kind and crunchies and the biscuits for you, because they are yummy. Whoop, whoop, the lad. <laughs> You're a one-take wonder, that's awesome! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> He's takes, a natural, that isn't it? That takes about five or six takes. Well, five or so. six hundred <laughs> takes, yeah. He'll be, have, come back with an hour worth of footage. Uh, the good news, too, is that apparently, this comes directly from Matt, Chris's canine crunchies aren't just for canines. Matt, this afternoon, <laughs> has been sitting at his desk we in dunk. the office. We dunk. And the coffee, nibble, 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 just eating the dog biscuits. Don't worry about it. He says they're very tasty. Just got your rolled oats and your peanut butter there. So there you go. If you're feeling a bit peckish this week, maybe. You can eat them. I'll tell you where I'm going. That White Pear Cafe where he's serving up the coffee. Five yeah. minutes from my parents' house. Really? In Plymouth, so I'm, I'm there. Yeah, he's a busy guy, isn't he? He sure is. Now, this all started, if you were wondering, when Chris had a conversation with the organisation Imagine Better, and they help disabled people improve their lives. And haven't they done that with they this? They certainly have. He's incredible, isn't he? Mm. Now, I'd just like to end tonight with a, a wee nod to our dog biscuit seller, Chris Whitmore. I know he's one of Matt Chisholm's favourite characters so far this year. Not surprising really when you consider that Chris is probably the first person on the show to rival Matt's huge laughing ability. Let's see it again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty similar, eh? But what an example Chris Whitmore is to all of us. Who can honestly say they agree with Chris and truly love their life? What's so awesome about his story is that he's made his life happen. He sold the biscuits, his hard work got him the radio show, his charisma got him the public speaking. They all didn't just happen by accident. And if all those things aren't enough, I'm certain his wicked sense of humour will get him that girlfriend he's after.